Uh, Dylan Hernandez of the LA hey, Times. Dylan. Hey, how are you? Uh, you know, you've talked about having winning players on your team and stuff, and you know, this is now your third consecutive time going to the Sweet 16. Uh, yeah, COVID, you know, we've, COVID. Op we've obviously seen, you know, the right top seeds getting knocked out of this thing and stuff, and it seems like, you know, your guys kind of consistently in those kind of in the ugly games like this to kind of find ways to pull things out. What's kind of the difference between a team that maybe steps up a lot of the times and, you know, like you guys almost all of the time? Well, look, you know, I was fortunate. I worked for two of the best to ever walk the college sidelines. You know, my dad was a Hall of Fame high school coach. So, you know, I would train on, you know, how to win and how to coach winning basketball. Um, so, you know, you got to defend and take care of the ball and play smart. Obviously, you got to have players. But we, you know, we, you know, make, force another team to try to make shots to beat you, making, being able to make adjustments and your players follow the adjustment. I and mean, that stuff's all important. I mean, it, you know, because like, like Chris was hurting us with the ISO, I told these two start trapping it. We immediately got a steal. Um, so, you, you know, you got to train to do those things. You know, there's just, like I said, man, when I got the job, we spelled, people started asking about style of play, you know, W-I-N. You know, we got to teach guys how to win. And there's a lot of ways to win. Like I would tell you, our transition early is what got us the lead. And I thought that was big because they're such a good half-court defensive team. So, and we, you know, it's not like we had a lot of practice to get ready for that. I was able to talk to the guys about, you know, when we get, we get a stop, we're flying down for layups um, because we don't want to get into a, you know, a game in the 50s. So, you know, we just try to do, try to teach guys how to play winning basketball. You know, it's just no, and you got to be, you got to be able to play situational winning basketball because situations change. Um, you got to play smart. Then it, look, man, it does, Dylan, it, you know, you got a guy to get the ball to Tiger and he walks up and never, you know, like, you know, he missed the free throw against Arizona. And I, and, you know, in hindsight, I'm glad. I'm glad we weren't happy coming here. Um, and the odds of him missing again are very low, <laughs> you know, because that's just who these guys, you know, that's just who he is, you know. So, question over here. Players, I would take Oop. players though over coaching. 